Okay, you've read the title and the thumbnail, so I know exactly why you're here, and I'm going to show you how to make liveries on Assetto Corsa without having to download any third-party application. All you'll need is Content Manager for Assetto Corsa, which I'm going to assume you already have. If not, there's a link to it down below. And other than that, it's completely no downloads. I'll show you exactly what to do. So when you open Content Manager, you're normally put onto this screen here. All you've got to do is go up to Content and find the car that you want to work on so for me i want to work on this indie car that's a modded car it's absolutely fine it still works on mods or normal cars next what you want to do is go to cm showroom now once that's open you should get a 3d model of the car like this okay. what you're going to do is click on the main body of the car and you're looking for Something along the lines of the car name and body. All you're going to do is click on the three little dots here. You're going to go on this little drop down arrow and you want to calculate it in at least 2048 by 2048. Or you can go bigger than that. This will take a minute to render. Now, once this is rendered, you'll get a little map like this. You're going to just click through it and look for the one with the shadows. Uh, on this one, it's the first one that comes up. At the bottom right of the screen, you'll see this little save icon. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to open the save icon. From here, you'll be brought to the car. You're going to click on skins, and then you're just going to make a brand new file. So for this one, I'm going to be making it for my friend who's racing in the league with me. Um, so I'm going to make a new file. So for me, it'll be called Wazoo Racing 98 Road. For you, it can be called anything you want. Just make sure it's something you can remember and is easy to find. Next, you're going to open that file and you're just going to save the body to the file. Now, you've got the DDS saved. The next step you're going to have to do is save it again under the same folder with the same name. But this time, you're just going to save it as a PNG instead. Okay. After that, you're going to go onto your Google Chrome and you're going to go to a website called photop.com. Now, this is a completely in-browser version of Photoshop that is completely free. I'll leave a link to it down below, but it is super useful for anything Photoshop. You'll click New Project. Under here, you're just going to call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And you've just got to make sure that the pixels are 2048 oh. by 2048. And then you're going to create a new one. What I want you to do is hide the background. And then you're going to go to your folder and find the car that you've just saved. Find the AO map you've just saved. So usually this lies under Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Assetto Corsa, Content, Cars, Find the car that you're working on under the skin section and then obviously the one you save, which for me is this 98 row. Now, once you're on PhotoP, you're going to drag the PNG file in because it doesn't read the DDS files too well. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. It's a bit buggy. But once you've got this in, you are free to do whatever you like to it. I'm going to quickly show you just what I'm doing. I'll rush through it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, a lime green gradient. Now, if you want to color the car uh, a main color, what's a really simple way to do it is drag this gradient over the entire image. You're going to go to this little tab here and click multiply. And what that does is it just fades it onto the car. And once you've got that full gradient layer, you just want to control click these together and merge the layers so that they're completely together. So it's super easy if you want to just color the car one big color. Then feel free to put text on the car. Uh, based on then if you want any PNGs, so let me just find, pop it on the car. We can shrink it down. It can go anywhere. You can do this with logos, funny images, memes. You can put whatever you want on here. Completely up to you. Okay, now let's pretend we've done a full car here. Obviously, we've not. The next thing you're going to do is go to File export as more and dds once this is up you're gonna save it as the name of the other file which for me is vcr dash car dash body so i'm gonna save it as that you need to save it as whatever your yours is called whatever car you're working on okay then what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to delete this one drag in this one here and we'll rename it perfect and if we reopen content manager so now if we go back on content manager you'll see this one here with no preview um the 
there is a way to get the previews. It's super simple. If you just go to the bottom here, click update previews, and there you go. Once it's updated the preview, you can see it there. You can open it in the showroom, and you've got all the stuff that you put on. We've got white, we've got base, we've got 98, and the color of the car. Oh, that is exactly how you update liveries. There is one last thing you may want to know, a little bonus feature. These numbers up here. The way to update them is super simple. All you're going to do, if I show you in a file I've already done, is it's just called livery. It's a PNG file. The dimensions are 64 by 64. As long as that's in there, that'll show up on this content manager bit here. So that's just called livery 64 by 64. I'm sure you can make that info OP on your own. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Check out some of my other stuff. It's really funny. And I'll see you all later. Bye bye.